Question 6. Factorize 8x, take away 12. First step of factorizing is to look for the highest common factor. Both of these terms can be divided by 4, meaning that I can take 4 out as a highest common factor. What I'll be left with inside the brackets, 8x divided by 4 will give us 2x, and minus 12 divided by 4 will give us minus 3. What's inside our brackets cannot be factorized any further, therefore we are done. Part B. Factorize this. There's nothing in common, so we're not going to have a single pair of brackets. We can see this straight away because there's no number present with our first term and there's no x is present with our last term. So we can see it straight away there's no single brackets, which means this is going to go into a pair of double brackets. What we're looking for is what multiplies together to make minus 6 and what then adds together to make 5. So our options for multiplying will involve 1, 6 and 2 and 3, where one of the terms is going to be a positive and one's going to be a negative. And then trying to get a positive 5 from that will result in a plus 6 and a minus 1. So plus 6 and minus 1 are going to be our two numbers that go inside the brackets, with x times x at the start being where we get x squared from. Part C x squared and 81 have nothing in common, so we're not going to have a single pair of brackets here, meaning that if we're being asked to factorize, it should go into double brackets. Technically, you can set up something similar to the previous one, where you're looking at what times what makes 81, except here, when it comes to the adding part, you are going to get 0, because there is no middle term. There's 0x in here. And when you have this 0x term and you're being asked to factorize, what you're also going to have is that you will have a subtraction. You'll have a difference. You're going to have two terms only because of the fact that there's no x middle term. And both of these terms that I've circled have a nice square root. Square root of x squared is x, meaning x times x is where that comes from. The square root of 81 is 9 meaning 9 times 9 is where the 81 comes from. And the reason why we add to get 0 is because one of these 9s is a positive and one of these 9s is a negative, which means if you imagine breaking it out, these two terms in the middle cancel. Done.